A gambler puts in another £50 note. He's playing on a fixed odds betting terminal. It lets you play casino style games like roulette in a high street betting shop. But this is high speed and high stake. You can gamble up to £100 every 20 seconds. And last year, people bet a total of £46 billion on them. Matt knows just how dangerously addictive they can be. He started playing when he was just 16. I was you know, never ID despite going in after school in my school uniform. Over the course of four years, I think I lost about £16,000. Um, and I think it's had a huge sort of impact on my mental health. But also in that time, uh, my education suffered, my relationships suffered. Um, when you're addicted to something, all you think about is, is that doing that activity. You can, you can only derive pleasure from that. So um, that, was the, that was the only thing I was ever thinking about was gambling or, or I was gambling in, in the betting shops on these machines. The Gambling Commission has found bookmakers made £1.5 billion in profits from these machines alone in the last financial year. That's up almost 50% in four years. The research also found that last year 600,000 children were caught in betting shops. Today the fight for better regulation reached Westminster with MPs voting on whether to limit the maximum stakes. These machines have been described as the crack cocaine of gambling because of their addictive qualities and the bookmakers, because of current regulations, have used them to turn our high streets into digital casinos and it's time that Parliament acts. Get exclusive offers. Critics say widespread advertising like this has made gambling more acceptable and accessible, but bookmakers insist they are taking action to prevent addiction. We're launching a new code of player protection which will put mandatory alerts on all machines so there'll be an alert after you've spent £250 or 30 minutes on the machine. The government says it's carrying out a comprehensive study into these machines and if there is evidence of harm, it will take action. Rebecca Barry, 5 News.